To start the router configuration, right click the internet network icon on lower right portion of window. Then click, open network and sharing center. Network and sharing center window will open, click the local area connection button. A pop-up window will appear, click the details button. Take note the value of default gateway. This is your router's IP address, as of now, the value is 192.168.11.254. Now close all open window, that had been opened. Open any internet browser. On the address bar of the internet browser, type the value of default gateway you note earlier. Then press enter. On username, type admin. And on password, type admin. Then click, OK button. This is the router's configuration page. On the left side, click more settings. Then click, network settings. And select, internet network. In Internet Connection Type, select Manual IP. In IP Address Menu, type 192.168.10.125. In Subnet Mask Menu, type 255.255.255.0. In default gateway menu, type 192.168.10.254. In DNS1 menu, type 192.168.10.254. In clone MAC address menu, click clone MAC address button. Then click apply button. Wait a moment to finish initialize changes and proceed to wireless configuration. The authentication window will appear. In username, type admin. In password, type admin. Then click OK button. On the left side, click wireless settings. And click basic settings. On wireless network ID, you can customize your Wi-Fi name or SSID. Then click, Apply button. Click Reboot later, to apply changes and proceed to the next step. On the wireless settings, select Security settings. In encryption type menu, you have four options to select, select WPA2. Then change the pre-shared key, fill in with your desired password, it must have 8 to 63 characters in alphanumeric. Then click, apply button. Click reboot now, to initialize all changes. Wait a moment to finish initialize changes. After it reboots, check the status of the router. On the left side, click Management. Then click System Status. The page show complete information, which means the router is configured. Now, let's try if you have internet connection. Click open a new tab. 
In the address bar, type any website. Once you see a homepage of a website, you are now connected to the Internet. On the lower right portion of the window, click Wireless Network icon. The Wireless Network lease will appear, select your Wi-Fi name, that had been created earlier. Then click, Connect button. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Then click, OK button. Wait until the Windows successfully connect to your Wi-Fi. The Windows is now connected to your wireless network. To test, try to browse the Internet. Open any Ethernet browser. Open any website or try www.cdrking.com. The Windows is now connected to the Internet, that means the router is successfully configured with a wireless network.